welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to second PUC statistics online classes. In this class we are going to discuss seventh chapter that is statistical quality control. See this chapter is important for eight marks. Here we can expect for one mark one question and for two marks one question and for five marks we can expect one question. See first of all what is statistical quality control? So statistical quality control in the sense controlling quality of products using statistical techniques. Why it is used? It is used to maintain manufactured process and to earn goodwill of consumers and to optimize production cost. How to optimize production cost? That let us see in presentation. My dear students, welcome to my presentation on the topic statistical quality control. In the modern world, there is stiff competition in the field of business and marketing. To survive in the competition, it is necessary that good quality products are marketed. There is a continued effort by produce, producers to improve the quality of the products. In any production process, it is essential to maintain quality of manufactured items. This helps to earn goodwill of consumers and to optimize the production cost. So, the challenge of the producer is to design ways to ma maximize the profit and to minimize the production of defective items. Statistical quality control is a term used to describe the set of statistical tools used by quality professionals. Usually, the consumers may feel that the manufactured articles may not be in accordance with the quality standards. For example, no two bottles of soft drinks are filled to the same level. Carbon content in steel differs from unit to unit. Electric bulbs belonging to the same lot have different burning hours. A cell phone does not function in the way it is actually designed. A new backpack with a broken zipper. First of all, what is quality? Quality is a characteristic of a product which satisfies the standard specified for measurement. Quality of the product may be controlled either by 100% inspection or by adopting statistical sampling techniques. Mostly, 100% inspection is impracticable and uneconomical and hence statistical techniques are adopted. The control of quality of the products using statistical techniques is a statistical quality control. Quality control is unsystematic inspection or verification of the quality of the products. The need for quality control arises because of the fact that even after the quality standards have been specified, some variation in quality is unavoidable in the products. Verification Variation in quality of manufactured articles is inherent in any manufacturing process. This variation in quality of goods may be due to chance causes and as enable causes. Let's see what is variation due to chance causes. This is also known as chance variation. Chance variation is that variation for which no specific cause can be attributed. This variation is beyond the control of human hand. This is that part of the variation which cannot be reduced or erased. In fact, one has to tolerate this. Hence, the range of chance variation is called bachelor tolerance. For example, if a slight variation of 1 or 2 milliliter milk in the sachet of 500 milliliter milk, this variation should be tolerated by the consumers or by milk preparations. Let's see variation due to assignable causes. For variation in quality, if a specific causes can be assigned, such a cause is called assignable cause. Generally, variation due to such causes would be prominently observable. The assignable causes may be use of substandard raw materials, improper machine setting, wrong handling of machines, 
power variations etc assignable causes can be identified and eliminated so that the process becomes free of variation due to such causes also if the variation is allowed to it will continue to create a serious effect in the quality of the product any manufacturing process undergoes in three stages they are specification production and inspection before starting production the manufacturer should spe specify a quality standards that his product should satisfy once the standards are specified the process is set accordingly therefore specification is the quality standards of measurements fixed for an item to be produced generally as production starts it items are produced at this stage it is necessary to see that the production process is to is in control so that items with specified standards are produced therefore the production of items must be according to proper specifications finally before releasing the product to the market the manufactured lot should be inspected for acceptance once those lots which have very high proportion of good items is accepted therefore verification of the quality standards of the manufactured item is inspected quality control techniques are applied in two different stages of manufactured manufacturing process that is process control and product control let's see process control controlling the quality of the goods during the manufacturing process itself is called process control process control is a technique of identifying and eliminating variation due to assignable causes in the production process process is brought under control by using control charts during the course of production the process is regularly monitored and it is kept under statistical control when the process it in control manufactured items could be of good quality and proportion of defectives would be low next let's see product control this is also known as acceptance sampling a manufactured lot is accepted only after inspection and confirmation of quality the process of inspection of manufactured lot for acceptability is called product control usually samples are selected from the lot and statistical techniques are used to verify whether the lots conform to the required specifications next let's see uses or advantages of statistical quality control the advantages of using statistical quality control methods in production may be listed as below first one to improve the quality and to decrease the proportion of defects to eliminate fa faults and prevent the loss due to spoilage and network by timely identification and assignable causes to improve financial loss changing the production technique when the process goes out of control the producer can guarantee his product with confidence it provides greater quality assurance at lower inspection cost the very presence of sqc system alerts the personnel in the product plant are defects in a quality characteristics which does not conform to specification for example broken corner of a glass pan is a defect damages in waving of a cloth is a defect a fold or scratch in paper is a defect an item having one or more defects is is a defective items for example the cloth having misprints a glass bottle with air bubbles a paper with the folds or scratches or defectives 
next quality control measurements statistical process control is used to monitor different types of variables and attributes which are statistically measured such as average range standard deviation and proportion let's see variable and attributes the first one that is variable a measurable quality characteristic which varies from unit to unit is called variable for example length of screws ten tensile strength of a steel rods resistance of wires etc are variables in sqc x bar and r charts are used for control of variables next attributes a quantitative characteristic which cannot be measured and can only be identified by its presence or absence is called attributes for example broken glass pan painted surface with scratches improper color print on cloth screws with length less than specification the number of scratches on a cell phone improper reflection of a mirror etc in sqc np charts and c charts are used for attributes thank you in this presentation we had discussed about what are the variation in quality goods then what are the types of quality control what are the advantage of quality control then how to measure statistical quality control and defects and defects I hope you all understood. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.